everybody, and welcome to episode number 58. Uh, we were doing some delegate stuff last time, and I think I'm ready to start doing some transition delegates. Um, <clears throat> I had a couple thoughts. Uh, the first one is that currently this class, this world scale transition, is only working on a single object, the world. And that's fine, but I'd like to keep an open mind uh, considering the idea of like, oh, maybe I could use this for other stuff too. So instead of just moving this object, we would give it, you know, the object whose transform we want to move from A to B. Because we're going to want to do this for cameras too. Boom. Okay, transition section. Uh, target position, object to move. And that means we'll have to hop into our editor. Get rid of you, 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 doom, doom. And this is our object to move. There we go. Cool. <clears throat> and instead of transition type position, let's rename this to move to. Right? And we'll have a rotate to as well. And maybe we'll just have a transform also in the future. Okay. So let's get our movement working first. Um, I do believe last time I had the concept of whenever we begin and we have this switch, begin position ease. So our begin position ease needs to know about the section. Right, right. So this needs to live inside of section. That's what I was. Public member functions. Begin, move to transition. And so our start vector is going to equal our object to move dot position. Our target vector is going to be target position dot position. Uh, this takes in a float ratio. Sure. Okay. And I do have a curve, but maybe the ease should live in here, right? That seems to make more sense. That way I don't need to um, Yeah, that way my world scale transition doesn't need to know about these eases, right? Ooh, why why would that be any better? <clears throat> I had a reason for why this would be better, and then it sort of dropped out of my mind. Um, let's see. So 
So when we're moving this guy, we need to move it along the curve. And the curve is actually determined by the ease. So yes. Or scale and fade. And so next we'll have our private member variables. And I believe we should have a public function. Um, initialize ease and this float total transition duration. And then easer equals new transform ease. And we can actually just copy pasta, or no, cut pasta, all of this stuff. Yeah, okay. So a little bit of Initialize the ease. Uh, we are going to need to make this public, lol. Okay. <laughs> Set up our ease. I can comment all of you out. I don't believe I really need, this is still important. We do want our check, but I don't think we need this dictionary anymore. I don't think the name actually matters. Like we're still going to have a list of sections. Oh, you know what? Oh, man. This is not bad. Lol. Not a problem we're solving at the moment. Okay, so what we actually want to do is we need to change. We don't care about how the world scale transition draws anymore. That's going to be default. Um, sorry, my messages are going a little bit crazy right now. Uh, we actually only care about drawing these bad boys here. And why didn't it save this? That's not great to me. Um, maybe this will fix it. Well, it looks like we're going back to editor work. But it shouldn't be too awful to change. Um, we care about a transition section. Oh geez, this is a lot of changing to do. But I did make a backup, so it should be okay.
Unity object. No, I was afraid of that. This is not a mono behavior. Dang it. So what does that mean? Transition section. I really don't want these to be mono behaviors. There's no purpose for that. It gives me no benefit except being able to... Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Hmm. So what am I trying to do here? Trying to move the delegates into the transition section. <clears throat> Initialize, begin, update. Oh, this doesn't even have a transform. Oh, this uh, object to move. And we aren't going to do a lerp. We're going to do an ezer dot. Oh no, I think we just want to do a vector three lerp here. How am I doing this in my other stuff? Let's go to our, I think it's a rotator, you rotator. Begin, rotate, do, 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 do. Here's our lerp unclamped. Oh, yeah, we just do this. I'm going to clamp it. Yeah, we should clamp this one. The only reason I didn't clamp rotator is so we can get the wiggle. I don't think this needs to be public. World scale transition. Do, 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 do. This is in our begin. Oh dear, what was I doing here? Oh, 
what was here? Begin ease. So that's our transform ease. <laughs> Dang it. Do, 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 transition section, back to public. Well, okay, sure, whatever. Um, that should be fine. You can go away now. Update, uh, this is going to be exactly the same. Which means we can get rid of this bad boy down here. Okay. <clears throat> Got a lot of moving pieces here. Trying to figure out begin ease. We're not using zoom update. Um, initialize section dictionary. Okay, so that's not actually what we want to do. So this should be in um, awake, I believe. So we get all of our things. We get our mesh renders. Check for invalid types. Tell everyone to initialize the ease. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You're gone as well. I don't even think we're using this either. So this is all we got now that we're currently using. Oh, yeah. Oh, and this one too. Initialize ease, and here we need to set up delegates. This is current dot transition type. Uh, Easer dot on begin ease current dot begin move to transition. And that should be it, right? <clears throat> no, not quite. In our update, okay, we are calling all of our easers. Each one has a delay and stuff. So let's say that for now we have one. Let's edit the section name to be out position. Is going to be a move to start times. We'll do 0 0.1, 0 0.5. The object to move is the world, and the target is the main camera. Curve, we'll do an up. So in theory, <clears throat> when I press enter, this should move our cube. Hey! And we got the delay. Nice. Okay. Um...
Same timing. I believe my other end value was 20. So it should take five seconds. <clears throat> um, let's see. So that means we're going to need to write our three functions, which are going to be super duper similar. I wonder if there's a way to sort of collapse this. This will be um, start value. Sure. I guess we'll need a target to scale as well. So let's rename this to object to modify. that live uh, using system assertions is it really an unity engine sure oh and this is like um, assert Ugh. I don't know I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way an object with a non-uniform scale. This could cause visual issues. Store our start value. That seems fine. Public begin. No. Nope. Um, update. Scale transition. Then we're going to lerp our start value and nope, target value and ratio. And then our object to modify local scale. Oops. our end and this is just going to be we'll replace new scale with um, target value okay I liked that that was really easy to write these three things And I could even uh, replace move to with scale.
Well, let's see. Oh, what do we got here? Transform binding. Uh, transition section, begin move to transition. Really? What did I change? Begin, move to. I didn't touch you. What are you talking about? Whoa, hey, dang. One scale position update, so that's in our loop. Transform ease. Begin, move to transition. No reference exception. So this is our setup. This gets called in our awake. Everything should be initialized at this point. Our easer should be doing cool stuff. Should be made at this point. Hmm. Oh, our object to move is none. Yeah. Don't know when that disappeared. Uh, that makes me nervous. Did I do that while the game was running? Target is camera. Um, outscale should also always draw object to move. So let's actually object to modify. Before we do the curve, let's put it here. And object to modify is going to be the world again. The scale didn't change. It's a little bit bizarre, isn't it? World object to modify. Here's our out scale. Oh, I commented that out, didn't I? Wah, 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 wah. Sure, that looked pretty terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Hmm. Ooh, 1234. Good time on the clock. I like that a lot. Let's see. I said uh-oh because my world scale transition has all these fade materials. But I believe it's our transition section that needs those fade materials.
These are constructors. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this as nothing. Uh, it can be null and in the other transitions. So our begin fade transition, we're going to yoink. This. <clears throat> and this shouldn't be get components and children. This is object to modify. Get everything that has transparency. And then we should also probably do this check in Where is that check? Hey, there we go. Let's do this check also in begin. Cool. Um, and then here we're going to not all renderers. Fine, I'll rewrite this. With this setup, we should we could have different like glossiness fader too. That might look pretty cool. Sorry, Thunderbutt's asking for belly rubs. <laughs> hey, hey, oh yeah. Not super professional, but she never went to business school. I don't blame her. So we want to set our transparency. To ratio, right? Wait, if we're going from zero to one. Well, let's just do ratio and pick the right curve. Object to modify. Hey, oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. No. we'll do world. Because technically we should be changing all of the cubes. Oh, really? Do I have to invert this? I'll invert it. Fine. Wait. Yes. Yes, this should be correct. Um, we'll do a start time at point two. 
end time 0.4. I don't really care about the end value. Do I? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to ignore that for now. Ignore that. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm, I'm sort of making the rules that um, all of the faces of the cube should not be faded at all. Like zero fade. That could cause me trouble later, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. And this will be this bad boy, and this bad boy. Cool. And we'll just change scale to fade. Hmm. Object to modify. Oh, hey, that's there. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, that's bad. That's not great. Oh! I believe it's because when I'm doing a copy constructor, I'm not copying the references correctly. Is that so? I am not. Ha ha. Um, object to modify equals null, and then target position equals null. But here, No glorious fade. But why? Oops. What do you got for me, console? Nothing. Huh. Sometimes you need to save your file in order for your file to run. Let's try an end value of five, total duration of three. Hey, that's not too shabby. Kind of tempted to do a fade alpha. And it's so funny, like, I feel like two days ago, this was working exactly the same way. But 
we had very little control over each separate section of the transition. Now we have a lot more control over each one. And um, it should be really easy for us to add new bits in. So this is a fade, but I kind of want to change the name of this to fade alpha. Ooh, even better. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> that made me uh, really happy. That is a cool idea. So I'm going to keep it as fade. Oh, geez. There we go. Uh, but let's hop over to our transition section and our fade. Fade property. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, we should copy that over. And then here's our fade. Instead of doing this underscore transparency, we're going to say fade property. This might be a little bit goofier. Oh. Hey. All right, this works just fine. That makes me very happy. Does not equal, um, let's rename this to property value. Do not share the same fade property value. And let's put some single quotes around this bad boy here. Cool. And then this will be our, oops, fade property. One minus ratio. See, that's a problem. Because so when we're updating, let's actually return here. And then if we get down to here, then our target value is property value. No, start value. So we store the beginning point, we get to the end point. Which in fading, we're going from one to zero, but in glossiness, we're going from 0 0.5 to one. Is that going to be a problem? No, I don't think so. Target. Dang it. 
That is absolutely something I need to set aside in my, uh, where's my to-do? World Transition Custom Editor deletes all sections when count is deleted. That is still a thing. Okay. <clears throat> um, in the coding standard, decide on the meaning of target versus end versus start versus begin. I always just sort of swap those around and it, it messes me up. It actually only causes me like three seconds of unpleasantness, but <clears throat> it happens often enough that it's a problem I'd like to solve. Update fade transition, target value, boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. no one minus, that's not a great idea. Okay. Let's do it. Um, or uh, let's rename. Well, let's do this for Did I always say that the draw inspector equals false? What am I doing there? To copy dot draw an inspector. Uh, let's edit some section names. Oh my. This is out fade alpha. And this will be out fade um, smoothness. Start time is 0.3, end time is 0.5. Our end value is going to be 1. We also need to expose if uh, it's this is fade. We need to expose the fade property. And if it's a fade property, we still will need the target value. See, that's part of the problem. We've got target here and end there. But we'll also need a current.fade property. Text field. So here the shader property is transparency. And here the shader property is smoothness. Uh, 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 uh. Feels good, man. Play around with this. Uh, let's start this at zero. Let's see what happens if we start fading the smoothness immediately. That eh, doesn't look too bad either. Huh. Well, we kind of got it working. Um, all that's left is to play around with it. I'm just a little bit weirded out about how these look so goofy. 
right? What's going on? This is the front face. Here's our mesh that we're dealing with. Transparency zero, smoothness one, looking great. Looking bad. Um, receive shadows. Just playing around with these. I'm not even sure what, um, why it looks like that. I feel like with zero transparency, it should be completely see-through. And yet I've still got this glossy shine on it. Is that because of the metallicness? No. I think it's fine for now. It's a small rendering bug that we can fix later. But I do believe that now we can start working on our stack, right? Should make it a lot easier to, now that we've done all the legwork, um, so our stack probably only needs to store the transition section, right? Because, well, here's the thing. We have our out level which in our current case is the main menu. And we have our in level, which can be anything. And this goes from zero to one. And this goes from one to big. And at some point on the timeline, we need to destroy our out level. <clears throat> Not sure if we necessarily need to destroy it, but um, depending on that, yeah, we probably will need to. It depends on, I guess, memory limitations and speed and all that hardware fun stuff. But, yeah, here's the thing. Let's say we go from the menu to a level. That means that the menu goes from 1 to big, the level goes from 0 to 1. Now, if we back out of this, when we pop off the stack, that means that this is going to go backwards from 1 to 0, and this is going to go from big to 1. So that means we need to store... all data I mean actually I think our transition state or our transition section stores all of that right it stores the target it stores the start And if we just want to go backwards, we can just swap the target and the start. And then let it run normally, right? I think so. Nice. Uh, is there anything I can do in five minutes, or will we end early today?
Um, boop, 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 boop. something simple. Five minutes. Not gonna do rotation. Why not? I think there's a whole extra can of worms when we're dealing with the rotation stuff. So I'm gonna leave that be for now. Maybe another day, another dollar. That phrase doesn't make any sense in this context. Um, I think that's it for today. I did what I wanted to do, which makes me happy. It would be nice to sort of categorize this into two groups of sections, like our out and our in. That might be a good idea. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's something I'm going to test. I'm going to save this and then close Unity and reopen it. And let's see if all that data stayed, because if it did not, I will be a sad, sad panda. Yes! Okay, everything's good. Cool. That's it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.